Hi everybody, this is Bob. I'd like to thank what I call my girls. You know who you are out there. You guys are incredible. Um, thank you so much and thank you for putting up with me and um, supporting me so well. You guys not only compassionate in my failings but have a way of tweaking my my thinking and kicking my ass when I need when you I need it and get me back on track so thank you so much I'm the first one to make the mistake of um, making excuses for my feelings so uh, I try to catch myself but I don't always do that and I ask for your forgiveness when I do if you don't remain focused you know it's easy to make those mistakes I seem so focused at times and then then some event like my 18 day trip across the country and back you know that was a major event but I seem to allow myself to think that um, that was a reason for me not to maintain success very successful P2 you know I lost a lot of weight and so but I had the goal of 60 pounds and I didn't do it well, I didn't do it because of myself. I had plenty of support. I know the protocol. I know pounds and inches. And I just did not do the protocol like I should. That's my fault. I took, took those excuses that I made, such as, I don't have anywhere to cook my protein. After being on the trip for um, about seven days, wow, amazingly, I thought, hey, I can buy myself a... George Foreman, a little George Foreman, and that's what I did. And guess what? It worked. But I still allowed myself to eat with family at, at dinner and things like that. Now, I wasn't eating horribly bad, like I had a club salad one time. I wasn't logging my food, but I still lost seven pounds over that 18-day uh, period. Now, what could I have lost? We'll never know, but whose fault is that? My fault. So what I, I like to tell myself is to remain true to yourself. You know, I can't find anyone else responsible for me not being true to myself. And, you know, that, that's quite poignant when you think about it. It's, it's quite um, simple, but at the same time, we we find times in our lives where we just choose not to be true to ourselves. Being true to myself would to be to remain on protocol, to have my protein properly, and to follow the, the protocol uh, as in pounds and inches, step by step. But I chose to make those poor decisions, and sometimes I wonder how much that cost me. I say stay to, true to yourself, you know, we know the protocol. If you don't, please look up pounds and inches. Yeah, I don't have it leaked, I'm sorry. I just threw these videos out. We need to remain true to ourselves, to yourself. And, you know, you know the protocol. We all know the protocol. We know the rights. We know the wrongs. We know the challenges that we have. We can almost predict them at times. And a lot of you mothers out there specifically are going to going through the end of the school year. There's lots of stresses and there's lots of things that typically men get to skate skate by and, and get away with not participating in. And you guys are a rock in those areas. But you can forecast those things pretty effectively and plan your, your protocol around that. So please do so. Just remain true to yourself. You know, and one thing that always comes back to straighten my ass out if I don't have somebody to do it for me. I just keep this in my mind. If we have to ask or explain our reasoning for doing something, there's only one reason we're doing it, and that is that it's wrong. And so if we have to ask, it's probably wrong. A lot of the posts that I've seen and a lot of the, the videos that I've seen you know, we, and I'm sure I've done it too, so please don't think I'm, I'm preaching from the pulpit here. I'm preaching to myself. Um, you know, we look for, for the support in areas where we're not, we're not 
we're not being true to ourselves, and that's so important. And if you do so, you will be successful. You know, there's one person that I've, I follow really closely. She's had 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.6, and today, she registered a one pound and it was so exciting because I have no doubt that she is following the protocol as closely as possible given her stressful life and the things she's going through right now and you know be supportive of those people and be um, caring for those people and try to to support them as much as possible and when you do so You'll, you'll find yourself um, finding very few reasons to cheat because you'll identify what the things they're going through. You'll identify um, stresses that you encounter in your own life and you'll find yourself holding yourself to that true standard that you have seen others set. And that's so important in this protocol. And with Facebook and YouTube, we've got those resources. We have the ability to look at those and to find ways to, um, to get help when we're in a stressful situation. I know a couple, in the last couple weeks I've posted two different times that I am like starving for carbs. Since I reached out to the Facebook community and I said, help. Please, I'm having these and I'm, I can't believe how strong these urges are. And the, the people that are so caring and loving out there, they sent messages and said, don't you dare, and all those kind of things you need to hear when you're in a situation that, that could harm you in even the slightest way. And I thank you guys for doing that. And as an example, please do that. If, if, for all those people that are out there and have friends on you on Facebook, use that as a tool. It's so cool and so unbelievably um, amazing to see people that we don't know personally, but you know through time we grow to care about each other and we we support each other at every turn. Make the commitment to staying true to yourself. You deserve to be proud of yourself. And helping each other through Facebook and YouTube is one of the easiest ways to gain that sense of satisfaction that we all need. We're all in this together. I've heard it said since I first joined Facebook. And it, it kind of rung, you know, rather interestingly corny at the time. And I wasn't so sure that, you know, everyone meant that. But over time, I found that many of the people out there who have become closest to they really do care and they really do reach out and they really do slap you against the head you know verbally or not verbally you know what I'm saying on YouTube or or on Facebook when you need it for all those people that have been honest with me have cared about me and reached out to me helped me through those periods of, of questioning whatever but um, I thank you uh, you know, I thank you guys incessantly for your example that you're setting, not only for myself, for others who look upon those comments and those those uh, rebukes um, or those challenges made to me or those positive, uplifting comments saying, come on, you can do it, or whatever it might be. You're not only sharing that with each other, for to me rather, but also to the others. And that is so cool. A little thanks here. Thanks to Little Sis for always being there for me and keeping my ass in line. For D, HCG, your comments are so uplifting. I thank you so, so greatly. Uh, Rich, brother from another mother. I stole this haircut, see? Didn't even realize till a couple days ago. I guess I'm just slow. For Diva, Travel Queen. Uh, for being Bobby Ricky Tommy Lee's not-so-round girl from now on. We're going to be, uh, we're going to try to stick on the same round and be supportive of each other, you know, in a day by day thing. But um, so, Diane, you rock. Everybody have a great day and rock on.